I'm Kiki. And I'm Keisha. And, and we, we are Supermom Super DIY. DIY. It's Keisha here, and today I'm making curtains to hide my mess. This will be a great tutorial for beginners, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I would like to do is I'm going to need 106 inches on the length of this fabric. It's going to be... That's going to be per panel. So what I'll do, it's going to be 108 inches, so that's three yards. All right, I always use pink and shears almost every time I cut anything. And just, and also, um, I also cheat. I use my ruler, get some of the, uh, pencil, get one of the, um, fabric pencils and draw a line to kind of keep, make sure that my, um, cut is straight. This is just my method to ensure that my lines are straight. Uh, a lot more people are more skilled at cutting straight lines than me, so uh, you probably don't have to take this extra step. Notice here, these are the size of the panels. What I'm about to do next is just take it over to the serger and serge right along the edge just so that we can get rid of that fringe. If you do not have a serger, you can also opt to use the zigzag stitch along here and that'll get rid of the frayed edges. Um, some people prefer not to do that as well. You, um, there are other options. There's a frayed spray that you could probably use there or not bother with that at all and just move on to your your fold your fold make sure you press it down measure and press and then fold again so i'm going to use the serger and then my fold all right so now i'm finishing up the other side Meet Debbie Allen. She brings finishes to my projects that make me say, Whoa! It is time for me to begin the ironing of the hem. There is a distinctive line here from where the print on the fabric stops and the brand of the fabric begins. If you can see that. Um, I'm just going to use that little line to fold down. I'm going to iron that down like so. Just run a nice little, little hem iron there. And then I'm going to fold it again, maybe a half inch. Iron again. And that's going to be the side hem. Um, so I will move forward with ironing here. And I'll go all the way down and I'll come back and show the next step. All right. Okay, so I've completed the hem the first hem fold I press that and now I'm going to take it folded over one more time uh, one inch one inch fold one inch hem measure there press I'm going to do this along the entire side of the panel I am going to begin stitching along the side panel and here we're going to stitch as close to the edge as possible without going over. Um, I am using zero, well actually one width, three length. My stitch length is three. And like I said, I'm just going to make a straight stitch along the edge of the panel all the way down. 
Okay, now I'm going to go off and complete the second half of the panel, and I'm going to just repeat the same steps that we did prior <coughs> to complete the first half, um, and I'll be back to work on the top and the bottom hems. As you see here, gotten both sides completed, and now, just to add that little professional look or finish, I'm going to do the same, um, follow the same steps as we did before. I'm just going to take just a hair, not even a half inch. It's probably more like three fourths of an inch. Make that fold and press. And then we'll do this straight across. Okay, now that I'm wrapping this little fold up, I'm going to take it over to the machine and sew just along the edge of this, just so that I can have a tiny little finished hem here. All right, I'm going to measure th a three inch fold here. Right here, and I'm going to press again. And you see, once it's pressed, it has a nice little finished look here on, on from the back side of the curtains. And then okay, here, Again, I'm following as close to the edge as possible. I'm actually running right over that previous stitch that I made on the thin hem. I'm using that stitch as my guide and I'm just going to go all the way down. And this is the top of my curtain again. This is the straight stitch. Okay, so now we are ready to work on that bottom hem. And this is where it gets tricky. So we've already pressed the three inch hem here now we need to turn the machine to the hem stitch we're going to fold over we already have the three inch hem here then we're going to fold it back exposing the hem this way so now when we sew the hem stitch is a zigzag is going to sew along here in every third stitch or so it's going to jump and grab a little piece of that of the opposite fabric come back a couple of stitches here then jump come back a couple of stitches and jump so let's watch this in motion we can catch it now a few stitches on this side and then it reaches over and grab a few stitches grab Okay, so now I have completed the bottom hem and here it's really pronounced because I have the white thread against the colorful fabric. A lot of times when you're doing your um, curtains though, you would try to match um, the thread with the fabric as best you can. If not, then you're going to end up with a little showing there and at this point I really don't mind. Um, I'm just proud that I was able to do it, complete my um, hem stitch and then so that's the bottom of the curtain and then the very top again this is the straight stitch so I have about six more panels to go before it's completed in hung so stay tuned <laughs> 